Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to do an effect, uh, which is described by this person. I can't pronounce that, but yeah. They asked me to make a tutorial to have two videos side by side, and then after a bit of time, the camera zooms into one of those videos and it keeps playing. Uh, this will be in Adobe After Effects because that's what they wanted. So this is what I made. This is, just pretend those two pictures are videos. I'm just using pictures so it's faster. So pretty much just pretend there's movies and then it gets to three seconds in and it zooms into that one and then you can only see that one. So I'll be showing you how to do this. It'll be a pretty quick tutorial and let's get started. So make a new composition and just I'll just call mine Comp1. You can call yours whatever and just I use 1280 by 720 for YouTube videos and then drag in the footage you want which is these two pictures in my case and scale them down so they can both fit side by side now we'll move this one across a bit and if you hold shift while you're dragging you can't move it crooked it goes perfectly straight same with while you're scaling it stays to the right aspect ratio if you didn't know that alright so there we go we got them side by side and pretend those are videos playing and now we get into zooming in so what you want to do is set these to 3d layers and go layer new camera and layer new null object Okay, and now you want to set them all to 3D layers, all three of your layers that have the 3D layer setting, and grab your parent tool, which is a spiral, and drag it to your null object. So your camera is linked to your null object. Now what you want to do is press P to bring up your position, and go to however far you want your video before moving in, or just do mine at 3 seconds, and click the stopwatch to make a keyframe, and then drag your slider across, uh, to however long you want it to take. I'll do mine for two seconds and then just zoom it in and, until you can't see any of the top or bottom and then oops, zoom across. You might need to zoom in a bit more because these pictures I used aren't the same aspect ratio as my I mean resolution as my video composition that's why they go a bit out of the frame but make sure they're the same to get the best effect and now to make your keyframes smooth highlight them both and press F9 or right click and go keyframe assistant and easy ease and that way pretty much as you can see it just zooms in nicely and that video will continue playing like it's the only one there also it, if you do this and you don't plan on fading back out to see the other video I would shut off that second image by dragging this across to there. That way that it won't have to render that as well. And it will just speed up your rendering and yeah, save some time for you. So that's pretty much it and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please rate, comment, subscribe and I'll see you next time.